Hello everybody, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. It is me, Herbie again, and I hope you guys found my last video helpful about how to make this food system. Um, if you didn't see that and you're curious to check it out, it's just my last video so you can go see it. Um, and in this video I will be showing you how to make an XP tank so you don't lose all your XP and how to get your XP levels back out. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a tank to actually hold all of your XP levels in. So it's just this tank here, and all it takes is 4 obsidian and 5 glass pane. So, I'll show you how to get your obsidian. You just need some buckets. We'll do 8 buckets to fit in my hot bar with a like item in it. So we can do my pickaxe. Alright. So I have a little lava place back here. This is where I get all my power from. So I just get my lava from here. And I guess we have an enderman. Alright. So I have this here so I can do more like lava at once, I guess. So yeah. Because it doesn't take a water source block. It just takes an uh, uh, it just takes a lava source block block. And then I like to use vein miner on this. I'm not sure what the default command is, command, but I believe the title of it is excavate. Let's see. If I go into controls, shorts. Yeah. So mine is Z. I'm not sure what the basic one is, but I just keybind it to Z because it's, you know, convenient for me. Um, it's, you know, out of the way, and I haven't ran into any other, like, keybinds where Z is needed. So, not that big of a problem for me. Alright, so, we'll just get, we'll get 20 to make it an even amount. Alright. Gotta go back. I have two doors. I use both of them. Alright, so we can just pop that in there, and then we might as well clear out my inventory, huh? Just to make it easier to see. Oh, gotta get out my... What was it called? I think it was called a portable charger. Yep. Alright. And then we gotta get my apples. Cooked apples is my food system, by the way. Okay, so next, we got, we got our obsidian just then. And now we need sand. And you get sand by just hitting cobblestone over and over with a hammer, it'll, oh, I can't put that back, it's fine. So what you do is you turn it into gravel, and then gravel into dirt, and then dirt into sand, by just, you know, infinitely doing this. So, I have my hammer right here, and I will, again, vein miner, but, oh, I guess that's dust, I kind of forgot, that's fine. I have more sand, but then, oh, maybe I don't, hold it. oh, it's because of, you see, I'm good at this game. Alright, that's just, I've had creepers blow up my stuff, so I have that back there, so that hopefully it doesn't, you know, just get lost and it just gets sucked in there. Okay, so we have sand, and then we can hop over to my furnace, and smelt it into glass. And you can use any furnace, I just have an ultimate furnace because, you know, it's the fastest, so it's convenient to use. And then this is how you make glass pane, it's just the bottom six, and then glass panes. So it's not a hard... Thing to get glass panes or glass or anything or even obsidian so next what we do is this is the crafting recipe and you know just five glass pane in the middle and four obsidian all around in the corners and I have ten tanks so I will just I'll make a I'll make a new system we'll just put it here all right and then what we need is one of these handy dandy things called an XP drain. This is how you're actually going to get your XP into the tank. So let's go see how we craft that. So it's just nine iron bars. Iron you get from, I believe it's just sifting gravel. Let's see. I have like this system here. I don't even know if that's just sifting gravel. Might be sifting something else. Okay, it is. So this is how I get my... Iron. I guess it's all getting taken to my enemy system. But you will get these things called like iron ore 
chunks, I believe. Let's see. Oh no, iron ore pieces. And then you can grab, like, let's just say a sack, put it like that so you get 16. And there's two ways, uh, like simple ways to get this. You can either put it into a smeltery, which is this system right here. But this is probably a, a bit later in the game, so you can just pop it in your furnace. And if you, if you don't have a good furnace, but you have the system, I'd recommend using this system because you can smelt all of them at once rather than having to slowly smelt them if you don't have a good furnace. All right, and then iron bars. It's just six in the bottom like that. So we'll just craft a couple of them. And then just like a block, XP drain. And bam. So now we can sit here and you can see the XP goes from the my inventory into the tank and let me show you how to get these levels back out i'll show you the it on my system here and i can maybe recreate it so somewhere down at the bottom here i have these things called fluiducts which takes it from the bottom of my system so that way it, you know can get all of it if it you know because i don't want to have some just kind of sitting there so let's see let's go get ourselves a Fluiducts, and I don't. I don't need a big one. I don't. All right, like a lot of them. Let's see. I might have some. Oh. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I do have a couple fluiducts. I will show you. I'll. I'll just get the basic ones. Fluiduct. All right. So these are the ones I have. It's really easy. It's just copper and glass. So copper, you get the same. I believe it's dust though. It might be something else. It might also be gravel, but I have gravel and I have dust. Let's go see. I think I still have my sieve up, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Do we have dust in here? Alright. And then we can just compact this to sieve it faster at once. So, if you don't have auto sieves, you can just use these kinds of sieves. They're pretty nice. And if I don't get... Um, copper out of the first couple, then it's probably gravel. Let's see. Okay, I think it's gravel. Let's go see. So we can go and plop all of this back in here. Alright. But this automated system, I, I'll make a video on how I make my automated system. Um, and it, it's not super difficult. Okay, uh, copper, yes, I'm not getting copper, you know what, you know what we can do? We can probably just click on it, and then we can probably go to, yeah, copper. Okay, so, it, oh, it's sand and gravel, okay. So you can use sand or gravel and sift it through, if you're using sand, flint mesh, uh, gravel, flint mesh as well, and that's for heavy sieves, um, and you can use compressed, you can also use iron, or just strings. You can you can really use like lots of meshes and ways to get copper. So I believe I already have some in the glass. I just showed you how to get. So we can go get some fluid ducts. And I believe we are gonna need a servo. And a servo is also not difficult to craft. Let me show you how to make it. It's just redstone, iron, iron nuggets, and glass. And redstone you get from sifting dust. Okay, so this is how we're going to get it from there into this tank. So we need an XP drain singularity tank. That's a lot. Alright, so you need eye of enders, hoppers, and iron bars. So, you can get blaze powder. Let me show you how. You can sift dust in either an iron mesh, iron stiffen mesh, or diamond mesh. Um... And it's just dust. So, and then you also need ender pearls, which are easy. You just kill the endermen that spawn around your base. So we'll just craft a couple of them. Alright. And then we need a hopper, which is just iron and a chest. Which is not very difficult either. And we need a singularity tank. So, it's just iron in the corners and glass. By the way, the ME system is super nice. I'll show you how to make one because it's really helpful. And iron bar is just like that, and we crafted some earlier. 
So we can bam. So this is probably how we're gonna get our like XP. We'll put that there. Now we need a tap. So it's just called an XP tap. I will show you how to craft that. It is just obsidian and three iron ingots. And I showed you how to get obsidian. I guess I need to make one more obsidian, so we will get a bucket. There's a single bucket. And we will go back to our little lava place. And we will put that right down there. Alright. I need to I need to figure out how to get automated obsidian because I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> need a lot more tanks, but I guess that's empty. Or not empty, but it's just really big, so maybe I will. Okay, the XP tab, just one obsidian in the top left, and then three iron down on the side. Okay. XP tab. And then we'll need a servo going up and into there. A servo like that. And you, I always put it on ignored. Um, you don't really need to, I don't think. I'm not actually sure what they do, but I think it just means, like, I think it means this one needs, um, connection in order for it to work, and I think this one only works when they're, well, I don't know, actually. But I just have it on ignored because it doesn't take redstone. <laughs> Alright, and then we have our XP tap, and then this is how you get your levels back out. So it's only six, because I didn't have much, but if I were to run over here... You can see this, oh, I guess I don't have to zoom on this. That tank will start dropping. So, let's see, I think we just saw it tick down. Yeah, you can kind of see it go down a bit. So we'll grab 30 levels. And we can put them all right here. And it will actually fill this tank first because this is constantly taking XP out and into here, so. This one's not on the bottom. I would recommend it to have it on the bottom. Let's see. We might be able to fill it up. I don't know. Here, let's go. Let's move it down to the bottom. And if we just put a server on this one, this is the only one that's going to be able to take out stuff. Now let's use this, I guess, to get it all. And I believe it should take it out from all there, but it's probably just a couple levels on the low side, so I wouldn't even... Oh, I am standing on the drain. So I don't know if it would really be worth it. To... Yeah. If you didn't have enough to put it on the bottom, or if it was really annoying, once you get enough levels, then it probably won't matter. Um, so, yeah, but since I started fresh on that one, I had it on the bottom because it wasn't difficult or annoying. And then, let's see, I guess I might not take it out from those sides. Maybe it will. I think I just taken it out of the bunch. Okay, but that's how you make your basic XP tanks, and I will, like, I'll move these down so I can, I guess I, yeah, let's see. Miner. Right. I will move these down to show you how they can just easily connect with previous ones. So, as long as the tanks are touching each other, they will go and work as a function, or like as a system together. So, as you can see, it is all starting to go together. Oh, I had the perfect amount. So... I have loads and loads of XP, and my pipe runs from down there, like you saw, up here, and then that's the tank all the way up there that it gets taken out of. So, this is just the system I showed you over there, but on a much larger scale, and then this, I'm not too, I'm not too sure what I uh, need it for yet, I think it's just some later game stuff, and then you can stand on the grate to deposit your XP, and there's solidified XP, but... I don't know if you can transfer it directly into the system, because I just shift right click on solidified XP and it instantly pops all of it. So, yeah. But the more tanks you have, the more XP you can hold. And they're not hard to craft, so I'd recommend crafting like 30 at once, because they're not difficult. But, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share if you think someone else who plays Stoneblock would find this helpful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.